Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. This has been Mouse Monday. This is the third in a series I'm doing for November. Uh, every Monday I'm doing a video on mice control, rodent control, basically mice and rats and things that try to get into your house over the winter time. And the first one, we talked about why mouse traps really aren't very effective on mouse control. The second one we talked about bait stations and how to properly bait for mice and rats so that you know to try to keep your family safe and, and all. And I, I suggest you go back and watch those videos. A lot of real interesting information. Also, I have a blog that I wrote on my website at greenacrespc.com. It's A-K-E-R-S, it's how you spell my last name. And uh, go check that out on mouse mice and the dangers they pose and the diseases they carry it's really informative a lot of information from the uh, cdc and just poison control centers and stuff like that that i've compiled all over that's really really interesting stuff so i, I recommend you go check that out also uh, like me on facebook uh, or follow me or whatever there you can get all kinds of information i've got my instagram and my twitter and everything on facebook so you can follow me there too it's green acres pest control llc and also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, think about subscribing to my channel. I do videos like this three, four times a week. I have new videos uploaded all the time with all kinds of information. And so today we're gonna to talk about how you can try to limit the mouse problems around your home on the outside. Because mice come in from outside, that's where they're gonna give you the biggest problem. And so we're gonna go over today just some little things that you can do to try to keep down on the mouse population. Now you can't always seal them out 100%, and so this is just gonna go over some things. Now the house behind me is a rental house. There's nobody in it right now, but I just wanna go over this right now just to let you know some problems that are going on with this house right now. And so as you walk close, you can look at it and you can see the grass is really tall, all right? That is a lot taller than the grass needs to be. Uh, when it comes to mouse problems, Mice like tall grass, they like to live in the tall grass. So when you've got tall grass, now this is not a lot of tall grass, but this is just to give you an idea of the problems that this house has. It's going to look enticing to mice. They can hide in that grass. They think they can get cover from birds and things in the sky. And when they do start living there, they'll burrow in the ground and they'll live underground. And in order to avoid hawks and chicken hawks and birds and things that would kill them, snakes and things, of course the snake will find them in the grass. But we'll go up close. And so you want to make sure you keep your grass mowed as much as possible. And especially when it's up real tall like this up against the wall, you want to get the weed whacker out and kill that stuff. You know, you don't need that up real close to the wall like that. That's not very good. Also, the siding you'll see is really loose, really, really loose. The mice can come in up under the siding. They can get into the wall there. And once they get in your wall void, all they need to do is find a hole, which they've got right here. Now this light, this is a hole all the way into the wall where the wiring is. And so you, if the mouse comes up behind the siding and they get in behind this light, there's a hole there. They crawl through that hole. Now they're in the wall of the house. And now all they have to do is find a, a outlet cover, um, you know, something they can squeeze in around the hole the size of a dime or smaller. I've seen them go through the hole the size of a pencil eraser. So think about that when you're trying to seal mice out of your house, they can actually go through a really small crack, a really small hole. And so you want to go around your house. If you're really thinking of sealing up the spots on your house, you know, go around, get a caulking gun, get some clear caulk, seal up around stuff like this, outlets, fixtures, stuff on the outside try to get your siding up so where it's flush with the wall and it's not all shaking loose and you know where it's been maybe hit with gravels or something from a lawnmower or something like that you want to try to take good care of your home uh, standing here right here just now I can see that there's a couple spaces right here on this side of the house that would be troublesome spots for mice now the screen door doesn't really close all the way but down here the siding is actually coming off and so the mouse can easily get underneath that spot. So you want to make sure you seal spots like that up so that doesn't hang out like that. You go over here, and where they have fixed a problem with pipes that go through the wall, there's, well, like I said, there's pipes that go through the wall. Actually, it looks like there might be a mouse living in there right now. 
but uh, where this insulation is kind of spilling out where they've tried to keep the pipes from freezing through the winter time, this is, uh, you know, a spots where pipes go through the wall, wires go through the wall and stuff where it just hasn't really been very well taken care of. You want to just look for spots like that and you want to try to keep those in mind uh, when you're thinking of sealing mice out of your house. Around these corners where the vinyl siding, of course, this is actually, this is, it's actually aluminum siding, but where the, uh, around the edges and stuff, if the mice can get in, they're going to find their way into the wall. And if they find their way in the wall, they're going to get in the house. I know for a fact that this particular house I've serviced for four, four or five years for mouse control. They do get mice in the winter every year. Um, it's not very easy to seal them out of the house. And so, like I said, in my first couple videos, trapping and, and baiting for mice, in a situation like this house, you can't really seal them out completely. You can't, uh, you know, you may be able to on your own home. Um, in the 30 years I've been an exterminator, I've only ever met one person that's ever been able to seal mice out of her house. She was very proactive, very, uh, and I really think it was just a little matter of luck is, is what allowed her to seal the mice out of her house. It just doesn't happen very often. I've met thousands of people in the 30 years I've been an exterminator. And like I said, only one person I've ever known that's been able to seal mice out of her house and keep them from getting in. Uh, so it's, it's really hard to do. It can be done. It's not impossible, but don't hold your breath either. I don't want to give you false hope and make you think that maybe uh, you will be able to keep them sealed out. And so we'll go over here. I'll check you, show you one thing. And every house has one of these. got your power box comes in from the city uh, they can get in around these because there's a conduit that goes oh wow and this one's pretty loose and there's a conduit now if you look down right here there's a conduit that actually goes through the wall right here and it's got a hole right above it now the mice can get in around that no problem it's not going to shock them to walk on that it's not going to electrocute them at all it's safe they're not going to get hurt uh, so they'll come in that way and it doesn't appear really on the rest of this house. I don't really see any more problems. So more than what I've already mentioned. So just keep that in mind this winter time and even in the summer that you want to try to keep the mouse sealed, the mice sealed out of your house. Don't let them run over you. Don't let them come in and eat your food. Don't let the rats in. You know, hopefully this will help you. Hopefully it's been informative. If you really like the video, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. Get the mosquitoes out of my face. I don't want those things biting me. And y'all have a great day. Really appreciate it.